we will be going to discuss to those two deployment models and recap for the two deployment models which we discussed last time, which were the public and private. And today we will discuss about the community and hybrid. And then we will try to compare them with each other, like what we did for our last week. And then we can see that which one is best suitable in what case. We cannot say that any one of them is means best suitable. They all are suitable under the some conditions. For some specific applications, they all are fulfilling the needs of the customers under the some different conditions. They all have the benefits as well as the drawbacks as well. And the sum of the benefits can be considered as the drawback for the other deployment model. In the same way, the drawbacks of the sum of the deployment model can be considered as the for the other model. That's what we discussed the last time. So we will go for a quick recap for the point we discussed last time. And then we will discuss the rest of the two. And then we will try to have a look that what are the means differences among them. And also we will try to see that where are actually uh, are in real life, where are the examples of those deployment models, especially for public model, we may have for private, we may not be able to know. For hybrid, we may have the examples. For a community, we may have the examples. So we try to see that how and where they are and how we are using them. So at the end of the day, we will be able to miss, make it done about the deployment models. And then we will be able to decide that which deployment model could be better in what situation. So if we just go ahead with a quick recap. So in our quick recap, if you remember that the last time we discussed about the public and private, public and private, initially we discussed that what these models are, how these models are different from each other and how they are going to be deployed. And then we try to take means the details for one of the module, sorry, one of the uh, deployment model for the public. And then we discuss about its benefits, its drawbacks, its availability, its unavailability, its scalability, its security, its cost. And there are so many different factors which are entirely important and linked with the that particular cloud deployment model. But our major focus was not to just discuss them, but our major focus was to discuss and compare with the other deployment model. Because our motive from this chapter is that you can be able to know as a cloud expert that which deployment model can be selected for your organization based on the requirement of the organization. So as we discussed these things already for the public cloud, so that's why we're just going a quick, a quick recap. So we discussed that in the public cloud, the most of the benefit is the availability. Most of the time it is available and it's easily available and it is cheap as well. And those companies are individuals who want to use the public cloud. They can have a lot of benefits in terms of cost, in terms of time, in terms of the human resource, in terms of the infrastructure, in terms of the software. 
in terms of the security because they are not responsible to do that, but they can get these all things done. They don't need to have any infrastructure, any electricity charges or other running expenses, but they can be managed easily if suppose they are using the public clouds. And then in the public clouds, we discuss about the drawbacks as well. That in the drawbacks, we, we discuss that it's okay and find that it is cheap. It's okay and find that it is availability is there. And it's okay and find that the user, they may not require any infrastructure or software or human resource or any other running expenses. But at the same time, there are the drawbacks. The drawbacks are the most important drawback is that in case of suppose we are using the public cloud. So in case of suppose downtime is planned by the cloud service provider, that is actually will be as per their own feasibility, not as per the feasibility of the client. Say for example, if we as a client, as a customer, today something is really highly important and by chance this is the day which is having the downtime by the cloud. So they will not means manage it or change the schedule based on our request or based on our requirement because that's the public cloud. So that is the one of the most what we can call uh, drawback from the public cloud and the other drawbacks are like suppose for auditing we cannot go because that's the public we don't have the access to that and at the same time we cannot go for to manage its are involved in its security it means matters for the data we cannot so these all are things are actually the drawbacks and we cannot manage the cloud as per our own because we don't have access we don't have rights we don't have privileges yeah that is the public cloud so at the same time we also discuss about the different means rules and regulations government regulations different compliance and other things where we can see that what could be the better for us and what could be not better for us in case if suppose we are going to choose the public cloud. So when we are saying that what could be better for us, it means that we are focusing or considering as ourselves as a customer, or we are focusing or considering ourselves as the cloud expert and those who can be able to advise the organization about its selection or about its usage based on that. So this is how we discuss about the public cloud. So uh, we discuss about the benefits like the scalability and everything. We are not going in detail, but I just try to conclude about the uh, means public cloud, the cost saving and accessibility and scalability and everything is there. But the drawbacks are the most importantly drawback that the downtime that we discussed and the other thing is about the integration limitations as well. And the uh, means there is no flexibility because we don't have a complete, I means authority or complete access for the public cloud. It's a public property and it is owned by the several means individuals are the several companies. So we have only uh, means limited, uh, what we can call uh, access are limited uh, this on that. So these are the means related to the uh, public cloud. And after the public cloud, we discuss uh, the private cloud. So you remember in, in the private cloud, uh, we discuss and we find out that in the private cloud, the benefits are different, drawbacks are different, and the responsibilities are different, challenges are different. So we can compare when we compare it with the public cloud. security points are different, data availability issues are different, data access issues are different, data auditing is different. So everything is means different when we talk about the uh, private cloud. But what it mean by the different? Because when we are saying it is different, so it means that at that time, we are trying to compare with the public cloud, not as a whole, but we are just trying to means compare that how it is different from the 
public cloud deployment model. So when we discuss about the private one, so if you remember that we already discussed that the few of the drawbacks where we have the drawbacks in the uh, public cloud, they become a strength in case you suppose we are going to use the private cloud. What it mean? Say for example, we don't have means complete access or complete privileges for the auditing in the public cloud. But when we have the private cloud, it means that we have a complete access for the auditing, a complete privileges for the auditing. When we are using the public cloud, it means that security, we cannot involve, we cannot manage. And when we talk about the private cloud, so it means that we can manage the security and we can involve in that as well. So now you can see there's something which was the weakness or the drawback in the public cloud that become the strength in the private cloud. And in the same way, if we just see about the security, so in the security, we can say that this is the strength that we can manage, but from the other hand, we can see that in that particular I means uh, site, we can manage, we can have access, but then that will be our responsibility. And that is the something really heavy responsibility while for the other model, which was the public model, that was the means not our responsibility. So in the downtime, that was the means very uh, huge drawback in the public, public cloud model. So here you can see that the downtime uh, will be uh, means not the weakness, but that will be the strength in private model. So what it mean by the strength? So in this private cloud uh, means model, deployment model, it means that whenever we as a customer, we wish to means announce the downtime uh, as per our, our priorities, that will be the only time for the downtime other than the technical issues. But that was not able, uh, we were not able to means manage that one in case of the public cloud. So just see now here that the few things which are the strength there in the public cloud, they uh, become the uh, weakness in the uh, means private cloud. And those which are the strength here, that become weakness here. So you, you need to understand that how these things are different. Why we need to understand? Because our focus, our main goal is that that being a security or being a means cloud engineer, you are supposed to means advise that to your organization that which model they are supposed to means take or they are supposed to choose. So that's why you need to be aware about these all things, about drawbacks, about the responsibilities, okay, about the security issues, about the auditing and uh, about the benefits, uh, about the accessibility and about means everything. You need to be aware, then only you will be able to mistake a right decision. Okay, then we discuss also the all of the same factors that what we discussed uh, in the uh, public cloud. So we discussed all of the uh, all of them in the private cloud, and we try to see that how they are in the private cloud and how they are different from the public cloud because we we try to keep all of them same. The the means uh, possibility keeping those points same for what reason? Because we were trying to compare them with each other. So we done with the private and public cloud and we discuss in a very detail about the responsibilities, security considerations, auditing, compliance, data, and means everything. But we only discuss about the two deployment models. Uh, that was the public and the private. So uh, means we try to do a quick recap so you can understand because that's the most important. Now, when we are going to discuss about the community and hybrid model, so when we will be comparing back to them with the public and with the private one, so you need to have a means the things in your mind and so you can be able to means understand that so you can be able to uh, means compare them properly. Uh, that was the reason as well that we means break this lecture into two so you can uh, be able to understand the, uh, the points and the things uh, very appropriately in a good, uh, good way. So now we are going to start about the community. So the community model, our community cloud, our community deployment model, these all things whenever we are asked means uh, saying 
again and again, these things are having the same meaning. So you may not be confused, number one. So you know the community cloud. The community cloud is actually a shared model, a group-based model, okay? And is it, it can be handled by the group of organizations as well. Say, for example, there is the one of the giant company, okay? So one of the uh, means giant company, they are trying to uh, hold the cloud model, then maybe they are going for the private one. If they are not joined one, but they are at the other issues are there. So probably they will be looking for the public one. Again, based on, there are so many other factors as well, but here I'm just trying to give you a quick uh, means point so you can understand that when and who will be able to go for the community cloud. Now in a community cloud, what happened in case of suppose the different groups or the different organizations, they have a common goal in case they have a common goal and they can achieve from the same point, then they can go for one of the cloud, which is known as the community cloud. That cloud will be dedicated for that particular community. So public cloud is dedicated for everyone. The private cloud is dedicated for, say for example, you can say for Mr. A, while the community cloud will be dedicated for the community A. Now it depends that in community A, how many customers or companies are there, Maybe we can say that there are the five companies, seven companies, eight companies that can varies. So that will be serving to that particular community only. So now what are the benefits in it? The first and the most important benefit in it is actually about the cost factor. Because when you are going for the private one, the most expensive one is the private one. Because there you are supposed to handle everything at your own. The most cheapest one is actually the public one. So they are at 180 degree with each other, okay? And the community cloud and the hybrid cloud, they are in between the public and the private cloud. So you will see that when we say the cost is higher, for sure the cost is higher for the community, but compared to the public cloud, but its cost will be lower when we say, then it will be the cost will be lower uh, compared to the private cloud. So in the same way, when we go for the hybrid cloud model, so you can see that the cost will be in hybrid cloud is higher compared to the public cloud, but it will be the cost is actually lower when we are comparing to the private cloud. So you need to understand. So we can say that the private and public cloud, they are the means opposite ends and they are the extreme ends. And while the community and hybrid, they are in between need to understand well that actually what is the difference between the community and hybrid model. That is the most important. So at the end of the lecture, I will try to give you the few examples as well from our real life so you can understand the more clearly that what are the these diff different deployment models are. So number one, which is the benefits, like we would discuss those uh, same points, almost what we discussed for the public and private model. So in the same pattern, here we can see about the cost. So we do understand the cost for the community model will be uh, means higher in case if we are comparing with the public uh, model. And while if we are comparing it with the private model, then for sure the cost will be means lower. So you can see now what it is saying. The costs are shared between the community members. So say for example, in this community, there are five companies. So it means whatever the cost is, that will be divided to the five different members so the each member will be having a less or fifth uh, means uh, share for paying the cost if we compare it with the private one now this allows for the purchase purchase of the infrastructure that any single member organization may not be able to afford so why this is there say for example there are the organizations they are not very small but they are not very huge as well they are not giant as well so it means if suppose they want to go uh, like very small organizations with the public cloud, maybe they don't feel security. They don't feel uh, means the uh, means comfortable and their requirements are different and they, they want the customized solution. So for that particular, if suppose they want to go for the private cloud, so for that, the private cloud has a highest cost. They cannot go for that. 
because they are not means very giant companies. They don't have the budget up to that level. But what happened? They have the budget more than the public, but less than the private. Then they probably go for the community model. And in a community model, they can have the, this that means cloud and in the, within the community, uh, all of the companies, all of the customers, they will be having the uh, uh, requirements are most same. So I hope you understand the, the, uh, the word meaning for the community. The community means the almost same type of group of people while they are what they are living together. So in a same pattern in the cloud concept, we can say that the almost the same type of organization cannot be 100% same, but almost the same type of organizations will be there. So they can be using uh, their means cloud uh, privately, uh, not publicly, privately, and there will be no access to the other people, but the access will be uh, only to that members who are the community members. So you can see that this is the um, is larger model of the uh, private one. And this is the different from the similar model of the public one. So according to that, the cost and other, other factors are also counted as well. So now issues may arise around who is responsible for this one. Now, when we have the one cloud and there are the five owners uh, and, um, between the community and at least all five, they are uh, means part of the community. Now, the question is that who will be owning that? We can say that uh, if five members are there, 20% with each, but no one can say that I'm 100% or I'm the in charge or I'm the one who has the full pledge privileges or rights. So you can see now here, this is the benefit in terms of the cost, but this could be the drawback if we compare for owning the uh, means uh, cloud. So it means that, what we mean by the owning the cloud, it means that in case of suppose going to decide about the downtime or going to uh, means uh, go for the upgradation or something. There is no one person, there is no one organization who can or uh, uh, they can take the decision. So this could be the uh, little bit we can say it goes to the uh, means drawback. Uh, this is not same as the means private cloud, and also it is not same at the same time like for the public cloud as well. Okay, so now uh, you can see the other points that these aspects must be clearly defined at the start. So normally when the community clouds are there, the different organizations are going, so they are trying to uh, means finalize it, who will be, uh, even though they will have the share, but who will have the decision part and who will be handling it and who will be taking the responsibility of the security and so on. So this would be, we can say that this is the uh, type of the public, but at the smaller scale. And at the same time, <clears throat> we can say that this is the uh, type of the private uh, cloud uh, model, but at the similar scale as well. Okay, going ahead, now we can see uh, that is the uh, means multi, uh, or we can see multi-tenancy. That's what we just discussed now. That is no, I mean, single uh, person who can be owning that one. So that can be uh, means taking a good benefits are there, advantages are there, and at the same time, there are the few drawbacks are also there. That's what we just discussed right now. And now here, the organizations, which are the middle level organizations, they are normally really going for this community model because they can I mean, save the cost and then they can get the benefits a lot, whatever the benefits they are I means looking for. So this is how This model is actually different from the previous both of the models. So you need to understand with that perspective with how it is means different and where it lies. Now it can allow you to share the maintenance activities as well. And each organization can contribute in his own area. So normally what is happening is suppose this community model is here. So at the first day, they decide that what part like supposed to be handled by which means partner. So they can handle accordingly. Say for example, someone is looking for data storage, someone is looking for the security, someone is looking for infrastructure. So in the same way, they can decide like this and then they can also decide that who will be responsible for taking a decision and the other people will be means following uh, to that particular person. 
So this is, now you can understand the drawbacks and the benefits of this particular model. Okay, so you can see from here the drawbacks. When there are multiple organizations working together, there is a potential of conflict as well. Not only that who will take the decision. They can decide that Mr. A will be is able to take a decision. But what happens after some time, like suppose if any conflict is there, so maybe the, one of the organization or one of the uh, group of the people, uh, they, <clears throat> they just announced that we don't want to I mean, uh, go with this community. We just want to exit from that community. This could be the possibility as well. Okay. So because the dependency is uh, of this cloud is dependency on the means different number of the users and different number of the customers. This is this is a challenging uh, as well. So that's why we call that this is the drawback of this one. The other things are that the uh, means uh, because the owner is not clear in this one. So now means this is again whenever the means advanced cost is going to be involved for the infrastructure or for something, then again the issues are arises that who is uh, means responsible or who will be responsible to take care about this, these things. So this is the major drawback in community model. So if I just ask to you, what is the major drawback in the public model? So we can say it's downtime. What is the major drawback in the private means model? Uh, there are so many, but what is the major? We can say the major one is the is cost. Okay, and the cost means not only in terms of money, but in terms of means all of the things like human resource, infrastructure, running cost, uh, expenses, and the money as well. Everything is like that. So what is the drawback of the community uh, means model? So we can say uh, that is means maybe the conflict or uh, the one which is what we can say that's lacking that who is going to own it, okay? Now going ahead for the responsibilities. So the responsibilities are shared between the member organizations, okay? But again, there could be, means there are the chances that they could uh, raise any conflict or any issues or any problem. Or maybe the other issue is, in case if suppose there is no conflict and there are the five organizations and they are taking care for the, each one is for their own share, now what happens if suppose the two or three companies, they are taking means proper care about their task, but what happened then in case if suppose, one or two, they, they are not taking their uh, means proper responsibility. So again, that will affect the performance of the that particular model or model, and that will affect not only to that uh, means a pattern which is not be, means acting or uh, fulfilling his part, but that will affect the overall performance of the cloud and that will affect the uh, means overall companies as well. So again, this, this issue could be there. Why? Because the ownership is the major issue. In, in that particular case again, now this goes again to the ownership because of the ownership, because it's not being, uh, means owned by owner by one of the company, that's why these type of the issues could be there. So you can understand that what is the critical uh, issue or what's the critical point in case of the community model that what we already discussed, uh, those critical means issues or those critical parts in the uh, public and the private model. Okay, so I hope that you understand about these points and you can be able to differentiate them among them very clearly as well. Now, because this is the, uh, actually under shared responsibility. Now for the security, so security concerns are also there and very critical means concerns if we compare this one uh, with the previous model. So for sure, because again, uh, the people from the different uh, means groups or organizations, they are accessing them. And everyone is means able to access, but they want to keep their data separate as well means for the privacy of their data as well. So now again, who is responsible to manage this one? Who will, who will be the one who will lead that? Okay, so all the participants in the community, they may have access to the data, but some of the sort of the data, maybe that is the very private data for the, any particular organization. So now this is a question that how they can manage that privacy or how they can be able to manage that uh, 
uh, means point, and this is the means critical question. So for this reason, what happened now? What's the drawback from this? For this reason, you cannot store your data. That is restricted to only your organization. So even though you have the cloud, even though you have the services, but some of the data which is really critical to you, you even you wish to store uh, the date, that particular data to the community means uh, to the cloud, but you will not be able to do so. Why? The point is that the all data is being means accessed by all of the partners. And that data is the secret RV means private data. Are the important data of your organization where you don't want to uh, means give the access to the other partners. So this is the also a critical disadvantage of the drawbacks of the community model at the same time. So it will means if you are if you are not taking care about that one that point then maybe it will become a very huge problem for you or become a headache for you uh, in case if suppose your private data is going to be leaked or compromised by the other members. So now, in other words, we can say that in case of suppose we are using the community model, then it means we cannot be able to keep our 100% data, uh, utilize 100% uh, for keeping our data. But there's some part, maybe 1%, 2%, or 5%, that is not, we are not able to uh, means store on that because of the means privacy or because of the security reason. So the security is the, means here we can see a higher concern, even we compare with the public and the private, that security, particular security issues are there. But this is something additional as well, because now to the same place, there are the multiple uh, means partners or customers, they have access. So this is something very unique, uh, like what we discussed, that these two things are very unique uh, in the community. No one is owning, and the in case you suppose, are important data, very top secret data. We cannot keep it uh, in a community model because that is accessible by the other people as well. So now you can see that how critically it is different from the uh, previous model, the private model and the public model as well at the same time. Now when we go for the compliance, so the compliance can be also tricky here because there are the different members there. So system will be I mean, subject to the regulation. So now this will become hard for us or hard for you to manage or keep up to the, I mean, uh, the regulations or the standards. Because each of the organization, probably they have their different priorities or they have their different uh, means uh, importance or their demands as well. So this could be an other concern in, in case of the cloud community cloud model. Now auditing, when we go for the auditing, so again, auditing is doable when we compare it with the public. In public, we cannot do anything. In private, we can do means completely. So in community, we can, but again, here, the auditing is not able to, are not being hold, not being controlled by the one customer, because community means that there are the different groups or the different people or different companies are there. So the auditing will be there, but you will have the limited access. So you can see that the member organization will have shared access to all the applications and systems audit logs. Means you, you may not be looking for the audit logs and for the other things which may not belong to your company. So it means now here you have access. It is different from the public where you don't have access completely. But here you have access that is the limited access, maybe 20%, 30%, 30%, 30%, 50%. That is totally different from the private model because in the private model, they have the 100% access to the auditing and the other records. So now how we can do that? Normally, they have to have the some sort of the agreements while they are is going to uh, become a part of the I mean, uh, community uh, cloud. And then they decide at the time who will be performing these activities, who will be handling this means the cloud and who will be I means trying to own, but that is somehow it is better. But again, that is the issue that there are the problems could be. Now, another issue, which is the also I means critical as well. The last point you can see that this would avoid the wasting time 
doing the duplicate work. If not, then the duplicate work, less chances in case of the private. But in case of the community, probably there are few things and few tasks is going to be done on the, I mean, du duplication level, means deputation level. So there are so many things, whatever the managing by company A, and they, that is going to fulfill their requirement. So that is the same part is going to be done by public B and that same thing will be done by all of the means five companies are the five customers and then they are going to means use the resources and can means store the data and everything on the cloud. So in private model, so you can see that it can be done only once. But here, I suppose the five companies are there. So it means that that process is going to be repeated for five times. And also it's not going to be means shared with each other because of the company secrecy is as well. So now you can see that how and where uh, the other models are important and uh, uh, means more powerful and how and where uh, this model is means more powerful. So you remember at the start, we said that we cannot claim, we cannot say to any particular deployment model that this is the best. No, we can say all are the best, but under some certain conditions. When we say if it is the that means we cannot say that this model has the a lot of drawbacks. No, we cannot say. All of them, they have the drawbacks, but under these some certain conditions. So this is the most important point that what we need to understand. Now we are going to the hybrid model. In hybrid model, as you remember, we already discussed that in hybrid model, we can means, go with the combination of the two different models. Now the combination will be in a different way. Either we can go with the private and public model, either we can go private and community model, either we can go public and community model, or this is again a possibility as well that we can go with all of three of them together. So it means few features from there, few features from there, and few features from there. So this is the possibility as well. Look at that is the hybrid model. So in hybrid cloud model, uh, when we means make the hybrid, so what happened? that we are making always hybrid to increase its efficiency, increase its benefits. But at the same time, means on the other side, the drawbacks will be also increased, okay? Because if we are joining the uh, public and private, so whatever the benefits we are having the public and private together, we can get them done at the one platform, at the hybrid platform. But at the same time, whatever the issues and the problems we have in the uh, means first two uh, means like public and private. So uh, that issues will be means part of the hybrid as well at the same time. So now you can see it's not a cloud environment where some components are public and some are private. So in what in hybrid mode, what we are going to do that we can means multiply the separate cloud environments. Are connected. Now here, when we say that the separate cloud environment. So now here we may have integration issues as well. Okay. We have other security issues as well. We have, there are so many different points at the drawbacks, what we discussed in our previous cases, they, uh, they could be here, but benefits also will be there. Like suppose we have the, uh, I mean, hybrid model for the public and private. So you can see that whatever the benefits, what we have from public, or whatever the benefits that we have from the private. So now you can have those, all of the benefits at one platform. And you can see that in, in that particular hybrid case, it means we have more than one, two or more than two actually clouds. So it means that we can store uh, our means information on the one and we can be means using the other one as for the, our backup purpose as well. So now while we are going for this way, what could be affecting the cost, reliability, scalability, availability, and these things. So these all points will be pairing the means with compared to the previous one. But again, this is important in some other aspects. And the, at the same time, it has also the drawbacks like what the drawbacks we, we already discussed about the community and private and public model. Now you can see from here that it has the best as well as the first both words. So if we go back, we can see that the public and private, they are the two last ends. 
east and west. When we say the community, so the community is in between. It's not east, it's not west, okay, but it is in between. But when we say the hybrid, so it means that we are trying to join a map to the east and west together. But now in that particular case, it could be, it means very good, and It could be the other side as well. That's why what we are saying that it has the best as well as the worst of the both worlds. So either it could be means very good, or either it could be means very bad or worse as well. So this depends that what type of the means uh, clouds we are going to means join together and trying to make them the hybrid model. Maybe the private and public, or maybe the I means public and community or maybe the community and private, or maybe all of them three. So it depends on that, what type of model we are going to join them and we are bringing them as the hybrid model. Now, again, okay, as we discussed that hybrid model has the benefits and drawbacks as well. So they uh, the, uh, means have the best, the best. When we talk about the benefits and maybe we can say words of the words when we talk So there will be not normal drawbacks and normal benefits like what we discussed in the community and in our previous models. So now from here, you can see that it provides the increased flexibility. For sure, it has a means a capability to provide the flexibility. For example, if you private and public means clouds together, so it means those all of the means facilities are things what you have with the private, you will also have here and whatever you have with the means uh, the other one the public one you also have those also here so you will have the more flexibility now it allows to uh, means move the selectively things to the public while keeping certain things in them so what it mean you remember in the community cloud we had one issue that issue is that if suppose five organizations are there so they can store their data, but they cannot be able to store their very uh, private data because it can be accessed by everyone. So that could be having a solution here. You can see from here, it can allow to move the selectively things to the public while they're keeping certain things as an internal. So it means that you can decide because now you have the hybrid model that is the public and private. So you can say that these things will be the public and this thing will be the uh, not public, but it will be the means private one. So now that issue was resolved. What the issue was we were facing from the community model. So you can see that it is dependent which type of the model we are means going to take, and then we are going to make the hybrid model one. So now you can see this, this is the thing uh, for sure. Now what happened? The cost will be increased because now you are not using the one, but you are using the two. Maintenance will be increased, security issues will be increased, and security itself will be also increased because now you have the one means cloud where you can I means keep the private data as the public data as well. So it is more secure compared to the previous one. But security cost is means involved because we need to manage I means both ends as well. Now many of the organizations they are using actually the hybrid cloud model to means provide the all tolerance and high availability. So it can be means the availability is higher and fault tolerance means downtime and these things are very lower in case you are using the private and public. If one of the models is down, again, other model is up. So again, the customer will not be able to feel anything about the services. They will be able to have them all. So now you can see that how the things are means keep changing. When we are in means community, things are with a different angle. When we are uh, means in cloud uh, public, the things are with a different angle. When we are in the private, the things are totally indifferent. So this is the most important concerning point that what you are supposed to learn it critically so you can uh, means understand them very well. So then only you will be able to decide that which of the cloud model can be suitable for your organization. Okay, further benefits are 
the certain applications can be hosted in the two environments. We have private and public, so you can understand how we can actually we do that and uh, where and what type of the benefits we can get from that. Drawbacks are there as well. So you remember, we already discussed that when we go for this model of the deployment, it has the means east are best, but means at the higher level. Benefits and more benefits. The benefits we cannot compare even with the private or public or community. When it has the drawbacks, the drawbacks also means higher. If suppose in private 10 drawbacks and private uh, five drawbacks, so while you are going to merge them, so automatically now no five, no 10, but that will be the 15 or even maybe the more. So this is the, the drawbacks are, are also there. So can be the most complex environment as well. And integration problem as well. Okay. And you may have the different misconsideration of implementation of the cloud. And while the other, maybe they have their own different point of view. Okay. So not all of your rules and procedures will apply to the environment. Because in previously, we have the different rules for the community, for the public, and for the private. Now, while you are comparing two or more than two, so you can see that a few of the rules they are means not matching uh, means in that particular case. Integration, that is the another problem, a big problem in this hybrid one, because now this is not means on left or right, but this is the, you can see that you may have some applications in private uh, cloud and some applications in your private, private one. So the application, they might need the access, they cannot. Private one means they have the issues for the public one and public one, they have the issues for the private one. So this is the integration issue is also there. Okay. So we can say in other words, that this type of the cloud is means a bit hard and a bit complicated as well. Providing a good security, providing everything good, but at the same time, it is actually uh, means having the uh, more drawbacks as well as the more benefits to compare to the others, all of the type, but we already discussed today. The same pattern, the security issues are also means in the same pattern, because now here you need to, in hybrid, you need to manage the security for the two things, for the two different development model, not for the one. And previously, you was, means one who, you were responsible to manage the, either the means private or public or uh, the community, but only the one. Now, now the case is different. So that is the another critical point of difference there. Okay. So at the same time, need to be worried about the security issues in individual environment as well. Okay. So as we mentioned here, that now this will be the issue. And when we go for the data point of view, so moving the data back and forth between the cloud environment, that is not healthy as well. If so, we have the hybrid model. Now we have the private and public. Sometimes we're moving data from here to here, here to here. So this could be having the chances that this data could be, means going to be lost or going to be compromised. So that is not the something good and not the means the strength of the, uh, this, this operation we not only do only with the hybrid model. For the previous other models, we don't require that one. So that's why we, we are considering here that this could be the means another huge drawback of the cloud where we talk about the hybrid one. So both sides of the conversations must support the same security protocols as well. So again, when we are coming for the hybrid, so now you can know what are the means issues and what are the challenges, what are the security issues, what are the data issues, and so on. So whenever we, we discuss about the data issue or security issue or any of the issue. You quickly run your mind, go back and uh, try to see that what we have said, how we can handle this in means type A, then how we can handle it in type two and how we can handle it into type four. So you can see that how these are different from each other as well. Now, when we come to the editing, for sure, editing can be risky and more time demanding, okay? because uh, this will require the access between the internal and external, both, both of them. And it need to be, I uh, means having the uh, error corrections and 
the blocks and the errors and means key event blocks as well. But again, uh, this is a costly process because it is not the one cloud, but at the back end, there are the two clouds. So that's why it will be costly as well. Now, when we say about the summary, so we know in the summary that the NIST, because this is the details what we are discussing, that those details are provided by the NIST. NIST has the outfitted four cloud deployment models. We already know, we already discussed. That is the private one, that is the that means public one, okay, that is the hybrid one, and that is the public one. So the public clouds are open to the general. So now here we are just summarizing with one point. We cannot summarize it in means all of the aspect or all of the points that we discussed earlier. So you can see from here that the public clouds are open to the general public, but private no, private not. Private clouds are specific to any particular organization, but not the several or the multiple organizations as well. Community clouds are shared by the multiple organizations, but not about the private one. Community clouds are shared by the multiple organizations as well as Hybrid clouds are a calm combination of the cloud model. Okay, it has the combination of the different cloud model. That that what we say already mentioned that it could be the combination of two or more than two. Okay, uh, so you can see from here that we need to be aware of the characteristics, the value, promotion, uh, sorry, propositions, and the different costs associated with the, each of the cloud. So now you can see that what is the thing here, that's not a good thing there, but the some other thing is good there, good thing there. So now as a cloud engineer, when you are going to means have a job that you can finalize in which organization uh, can be means discussing uh, uh, choosing which of the deployment model. So you must be knowing uh, that which will be going to apply. And in addition to that, you must be means knowing that how and why we are suggesting this one. That is the most important part. Okay, so this is the summary. The above uh, would help to decide the deployment model, that which deployment model is actually suitable for your organization. Uh, that is the lecture, but it's not finished yet because I try to I mean, show you the few of the examples so you can understand that uh, what type of the public and what type of these. So most of the clouds what we are using as well. So here we go. Before we go, so here I just added the uh, picture for you so you can understand that the cloud deployment models are the private and public. So you can see uh, from this figure, don't go for the colors, but you just, just imagine that whatever the size of this shape is. So the size which is the bigger, uh, that is known as the uh, what we can call public one. And the size which is the means lower in between, that will be with a different one. So you can see from here, uh, which uh, is looks like the hybrid and which one is the um, it's community and private and the public. Now here we are coming with a few of the examples. Which is the most important? Because when we are talking about the clouds, the clouds, clouds, and if we are not understanding, then what are the differences are, uh, means what are the real life examples about the uh, missing this deployment model, which one out of them are the public, which out one out of them are the private, which one out of them they are the community, and which one out of them they are the hybrid one. Then it will be hard for us to miss keep these things in our mind, and maybe we will forget about some time. But if we just go in a proper way, appropriate way, then there is no issue. I mean, you will be older, but you will be remember that what we talk about the cloud. So that is the most important point. You need to means, take a proper interest in this and you will see that how uh, much wonder you can be able to do once you will be finishing this particular course. So now from here you can see this is the public cloud. So the few of the examples for the public cloud are the Google Cloud engines. They are public. They can be used by anyone. Salesforce, that can be used by anyone. No issue. Amazon, AWS can be used by anyone. Okay, it's because it's a public. Microsoft Office 365, that is also can be. So you can see that these all are the different few of the examples about the public one. 
Now, if we go for the means private one, the private is can be any because that will be owned by some organization or some I means personal, the customer. So here we cannot give any example about the private. The private may be from the same clouds what we are discussing, those service providers, so any company or any organization can talk to them and then they can go for it. If suppose they are going for a private, probably they can means go for the installation and everything they, that they want. If they are going for the community and they are going for whatever the model is, so that's how it can be mistaken as the private as well. So that's why we didn't include any example. Okay, anyone, any one type of the cloud can be, could be converted to the private one. Now the community, we discuss a lot about the community, but here we just try to give you as an example, so from where you can understand it very well. So I'm just trying to give you the example about the government. So you know in the government, the most important uh, division or most important area, that is what? That is actually the healthcare applications, okay? And you know that healthcare application data is being used by the public sector, means all of the hospitals as well as the private sector hospitals. So during this COVID situation, you can see that a lot of data, it is means being shared and being used at the same time by the public and the private, private hospitals as well. So now what happened? Means they have the cloud. If suppose the public sector, they are using the private cloud, it means they cannot give the access to the means organizations of the private organizations. If they're using public, then there is no security, then that's the big issue. So which model they are using? The model which they are using, that is the community model. So any of the hospital, which are the private hospitals, they can also have the access, they can get the data, access to the data, and then they can, means proceed and they can, then they can decide. So now you can see from here that the community means the, uh, one of the example what we could, that is the, for the healthcare and the, some of the update private industries, so how they are means important and together with each other. Hybrid cloud, hybrid cloud has been provided by so many, Amazon is also providing, Microsoft also providing, Google is also providing, Intel is also providing, Cisco is also providing, Net is also providing, a lot of, a lot of, okay? So because you can get the two and you can combine and you can just go to your clients to use for your services. So we have the examples for the, I means hybrid one, we have the examples for the uh, public one, but we don't have the right example for the private one, so we know and we understand that how it's because it's private, so there is no uh, detail about that. And here I just try to add the, uh, means one of the uh, source, which is from the internet. If you have a time, you can go through with that one and you will be means able to see the further details about the cloud on that. So thank you very much. I hope you understand uh, the things in a very well uh, way. And uh, then we can, uh, if you have any question or concern, uh, you can let me know. We can go accordingly. And uh, meanwhile, if you don't have any question, then I can just go uh, pursue for the attendance. So please let me know. Okay. Then in that particular case, we may stop the recording. And uh, please make your cell phones ready to go for the attendance. So there are 13. Uh,